Hello, this is a quick walkthrough on a 2011 R-Pod 171. I'm just going to take you around the exterior. It's in excellent shape for its age. It's been really well maintained. There is, you'll notice, stickers could use a little bit of love. I've been slowly taking them off on warm days. And uh, if that fails, a hairdryer works as well. And uh, I've been thinking about re-stickering it with something. Just don't know what that is. It's got a... Uh, Back non-opening window for opening and sliding side windows. It's got a 30 pound propane tank, two large batteries, an air conditioner on the roof, and then for shore power, it connects to a standard 20 or 15 amp exterior outlet um, with through the use of that little yellow adapter. Uh, but in order to run the air conditioner, you do need at least a minimum of 20 amps, but it is recommended to have a 30 amp uh, breaker. It's got a full-size spare tire, LED lighting, all the lighting works all around. Uh, you've got storage hatches on either side. You've got hot water access. You've got a cable access. I've got a new cover for that to go on that I'll put on. Uh, you've got access vent hatches at the back of the fridge unit. Uh, you can use city water or you can fill, I believe, a 30-gallon water tank. Uh, you've got a uh, electric or propane heating system, and then that's where shore power connects in there. One of the things that attracted us to the R-Pod in the beginning was the construction of the units themselves. Uh, from especially from a maintenance perspective. Um, it has a steel frame that runs underneath the length of the trailer, and then the subframe itself is made out of aluminum, and it's filled in with, um, with insulative foam. Uh, there's a water barrier at the very bottom of the trailer, and then there's um, a thin layer of plywood and then the floor. And the nice thing is the walls of the trailer itself are also framed in aluminum and they sit on top of that aluminum frame in the floor. So it means it's extremely strong, extremely lightweight and, uh, and really low maintenance. Uh, not much to go wrong from a structural perspective. Uh, the exterior of its, uh, the units themselves, they have a fiberglass uh, skin or shell that goes over them. And then again, the aluminum frame mixed in with uh, uh, some insulative foam and then a thin piece of plywood on the inside and then the wall coating. Uh, and then one of the great things is that the uh, ceiling itself, the roof itself, is a one-piece roof that goes all the way up and over the trailer without any seams. Uh, and then it basically uh, connects to the walls themselves. So everything is structurally supported uh, over the entire body of the trailer. And before we head inside, I just wanted to point out the uh, Dometic tent. Uh, the tent's a fantastic addition. It essentially doubles the entire space of the R-Pod. You'll notice the C-channel that runs the entire length of the unit. This tent actually has a little rib that slides all the way through there. And then it has another skirting piece down at the bottom. And it forms uh, an exterior vestibule out of really, really thick, heavy, water-resistant tent material. Uh, so you've got a place to set up. Um, you know, a picnic table or, uh, or your gear storage or whatever it may be. So when the weather does turn a little bit sour, uh, you do have quite a bit more free and open space. Again, it, it probably almost doubles uh, the entire profile of the trailer and I'll attach a photo as well. Okay, so entering into the AirPod, has a nice little sturdy handle here, a little catch on the back of the door, and then you can use the screen door portion it has a nice sturdy close to it. Two steps that do fold up and in. So you can see the unit itself is in absolutely excellent condition, uh, especially for the age, but just overall for a used trailer, it's in great condition. This front bunk here, you can see my creative attempt at a, uh, a baby barrier so that our little guy doesn't fall out of bed. Uh, it does, of course, turn into a four-person dinette, um, but it is a uh, uh, a double-sized bed, I believe, up front. Um, trailers are 74-inch uh, beds for the most part, so a little bit shorter than your standard bed. Um, and it folds up quite easily. This just lifts up and out of the way. And then, of course, the bed itself, it has a memory foam mattress that you can take and store, or if you don't have a need like we do, um, you, can, uh, uh, you can fold it away. Uh, we've got a full... Uh, bath here. Uh, door folds entirely back and out of the way for easy access. It has a toilet, a shower combo, and then seals all the way around, uh, plus a uh, 
a curtain there. You've got a three-speed fan up top. It will pull out any of the moisture. And then this is your air conditioning and electric heater unit. When it comes to the kitchen, we have an nice Dometic fridge, um, three-way, so it does propane gas, uh, or excuse me, propane gas, 12 volt from the batteries, or uh, 110, 120 volts from short power. Uh, you've got a nice sink, you've got a pump, uh, you've got dual hot water tank, uh, electric and propane as well, uh, two burner stove, and then lots of storage for a trailer of this size. You can bring the coffee maker if you want. Uh, we've got pots and pans and heater and whatnot. That is your gas fired heater right there. All electronics are located just underneath uh, the bed. Again, it, it does move up and move out of the way quite easily. Your refrigeration unit on the inside. Again, really nice shape. Uh, the bed's fantastic. It's got huge storage all the way underneath of it. You can access from here. You probably can't see that well, uh, but off to the left-hand side there, it does actually go all the way around. Again, you can access that from storage doors on the outside as well. And then this is a nice, comfortable queen bed at the back here. Uh, the curtains and the, uh, the blinds do an excellent job of shading in here. Uh, nice, comfortable bed, again, with a memory foam topper. Uh, all right, hopefully that gives you a nice walkthrough. Uh, please feel free to reach out with any questions. Happy to, uh, uh, to do a distance walkthrough or FaceTime or whatever uh, as things may dictate. And happy to show uh, in person as well.